What's up everybody, I'm the man Goose. you are awesome, and I'm dipping my toes back into fault. And what better way to do so than with my most favorite hero in the whole wide world, Big Dick Rick. This was an interesting game, and not only because I was very, very drunk, but because our gadget disconnected from the beginning, leaving us fighting a 4v5. However, enemy Sparrow was having massive lag issues, you'll see her teleporting around the map. And that kind of shows that sometimes it's better to play with a player down than have someone on your team with a poor connection. Also, I recorded a fucking insane intro for this video while I was drunk. I'll put that at the very end in case you guys want to hear it, but just know that you have been warned. It's, uh, it's a little weird. The enemy Narbash already dewarded me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and deward him and make things make things fair. I did ward a little too early into this game. I warded even before we uh, we took down the red buff. Our Severog is following us, and it looks like he's wanting to set up for an early gank, which is cool. I take a cheeky thunk from the Narbash. And one thing I want to talk about here is trust your team. Like I could have tried to hook right there, but I trusted the Narbash to do his thing, and I'm not using my hook until somebody tries to get away. Like right there. <laughs> Fat-ass Narbash tries to get away. We end up cleaning up two kills from the very beginning, putting us in a very, very good position for the rest of the game, really. Um, it's unfortunate that our gadget left, uh, but again, that Sparrow was uh, having really, really bad lag issues. We're pushed really far forward here, and like I said, I don't have a ward down anymore. So I'm kind of wanting to back up because I figure Chimera is going to come and try and get a piece of our Murdoch. And sure as shit, there he is with the red buff. Again, we're going to be careful here. I slowed him down and silenced him, then pulled him back. Our Murdoch is able to get away pretty easily. He comes back in to, to help fight for me, and I get take another good thunk. This Narbash was really good, by the way. Now, I try and line up a hook here, and oh, that was almost so cool. That was almost so cool. I hit the wall. Oh, well. Almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Not Richter hooks. Well, it kind of counts on Richter hooks. You can scare the shit out of somebody with a Richter hook. I was setting another ward down. The enemy team took that opportunity to be very aggressive. And as you're going to see here in a moment, Gideon comes in. He walks the other way, so my ward did not pick him up. I'm starting to think that I'm putting my wards in the wrong place. I probably should put them more in the middle. And uh, yeah, our, our, our poor Murdoch, very close to death. I think I silenced the Gideon right at the exact moment that he would have taken our Murdoch down. That Comet just barely missed the Murdoch. Very good gank from the enemy Gideon, and he's free to do whatever the hell he wants because we don't have a gadget pushing our lane at all right now. My ward is still pretty far forward, so I think at this point in the game Chimera comes after. Um, See, Narbash is posting up, and it's because the Narbash came, or the Chimera came in from behind. Murdoch on a smidgen of health. I don't know how he got the, He didn't get away because of me, that's for sure. Trying to stand in the way of some of these shots from Sparrow, but she's teleporting and blinking around all over the goddamn place, so trying to hook her is like, it's not going to happen. throughout. <laughs> I don't think I'll land a single hook on the Sparrow throughout the entire game. I'm going to try, and see, look, she just teleports away. <laughs> I don't think that hook would have hit anyway. I was that was a poor hook. I have learned my lesson. I see how the enemy team wants, wants to go with this. So I put my ward down uh, closer to closer to us because that's how they're coming through to attack us. It seems. Now I'm trying to kind of back out here because I do not want to fight under this giant goddamn minion wave. We've only got three minions left. They've got a pretty big wave. We could just sit back, freeze the lane, and farm. And Murdoch is he's starting to back up. And then the ward that I placed actually picks him up this time because I put it in the right spot. And Gideon coming in for that gank. I don't know why I took that rock, as if that would prevent Murdoch from taking damage. <laughs> I think I just, I think I just drunkenly swaggered into it. So 
the enemy team is obviously going after Raptor, but I don't really think there's much we could do about it. Again, we were 4v5. Um, the, the, the Sparrow lag where, where she just couldn't play very well really added up for the rest of the game, but uh, at this point in the game, they're still very dangerous, but our Silverog valiantly goes in and gets a steal on the Raptor, and it looks like he's going to die. I'm trying to come to save him. Ally has been slain. I don't know where the Chimera went, but I see the Gideon, and I'm expecting the Chimera to come in behind me, but I'm still, I still want to fuck with this Gideon. He's kind of low mana. Hit him with the silence, pull him in. I did not expect Narbash to follow. And then there's the Chimera, just as I suspected. And uh, they almost got me right there. I almost died. I almost died. It. And Murdoch came over. Didn't expect him to come. Let's see if we can get a good hook. Oh, he was just out of range. That, that would have been amazing if I would have caught that hook. Oh, well. Oh, well. Narbash aggressively posting up on this Severog, and we're going to see if we can make him pay for it. We're going to wrap around the corner and thunk, get right, thunk right in the face. Just try and get away. I pulled him out of the root. He still got rooted, but that was probably a bad pull. I should have waited on that pull. He does a good job of uh, <laughs> getting around us here. I ended up picking up the kill. Probably should have left it for that Severog, but, you know, it's a support thing. Complete, I, oh, yeah, I completely missed that Sparrow. She just got uh, batted away by the Severog. And then they, uh, Murdoch gets that kill on the Sparrow. He gets even more fed. Chimera jumping in from the back line. Goes on our Murdoch. I take a couple shots. I missed the hook, though. That would have been great if I would have hit the hook. Our Murdoch is just very committed to taking this tower down. So I did land the ultimate on Chimera. Going to die here, but... We did get the tower, which gave us... Uh, this was the first tower of the game, which gave us some favor. So, um, the Murdoch thought it was worth it, and I do too. Severog just took out their Gideon, so he's making the call to attack Raptor, so I'm going to go ahead and de-ward it. They, um, that, like I said, that enemy Narbash was very good. He was popping his wards when he needed to. Now, I don't want to start this myself. I'm going to wait until they're good and ready. And Chimera, taking the bait, <laughs> wraps around that wall, only to get silenced. And then, uh, yeah, I hit him with the works there with, with Severog just beating the shit out of him. And, of course, Murdoch comes in with the old with the old shotgun blast to finish him off. And then we uh, pretty much free Raptor. Narbash thinks he wants to try and steal. I'm gonna try and push him away. He zoomed on out of there. Gideon getting cheeky, messing with our Severog. He's not, he shouldn't mess with that Severog. Hits me with the old Comet. I catch him as he's trying to traverse. There's there's Murdoch coming to save the day, and I think Murdoch picked up the kill. That'll teach that Gideon to try and throw cheeky rocks at us. Murdoch is holding down mid because we don't have a gadget, but he's getting bullied by this Gideon. Gideon's pushing him back. So I come over to assist, and the Gideon is nowhere to be found. So I assume that he's probably trying to take blue buff. I see Severogs with me, so we're going to transition over. And it's not blue buff. Him and Chimera are trying to take the mini prime. So we step in. 
I go ahead and silence him before he can ult, but I, I didn't catch his ult. I did interrupt. I did interrupt the ult with, with with the pull, but yeah, that uh, I completely whiffed that ultimate because of the colossal blow from Severog. Again, I should have just trusted him to do his thing and waited till the good time to use the ultimate. Belka beating me up, bullying me around. I, I'm going to commit to this fight though, and our team's going to clean up, clean her up. More Gash is telling us that the enemy's missing left and that we should be careful mid, but I see Severog trying to set up for a play and I want to go and help a brother out. We're not going to win this game by sitting on our heels. He, uh, Narbash completely did not see that Severog and went after me. Uh, completely missed the Sparrow with the hook as usual. Popped the ultimate, now I actually hit the Sparrow, but that leaves me with nothing to interrupt this Gideon ultimate, which was a poor move on my part and I get popped by Bellica and I believe, uh, I believe our Severog is going to die here too. Yeah, and our Severog died. That was, uh, we should have listened and our Murdoch got wasted. We should have listened to our Morgash. Enemy team just took Raptor, so we're going to go check out the Orb Prime to see if they moved on to that. We got our Severog with us. He's a beefy boy. And, so, and the, the Prime hasn't quite spawned yet, but I am going to throw down a, um, a Pulse, a Rad Pulse, to see if they have it warded. Now, Severog's moving pretty deep into their jungle, and we do have our Murdoch with us. And Gideon is in the mid lane, and it looks like Severog wants to post it up on Gideon. I'm all for it. I'm going to come in and try and help. Distract him with my big old body. And that was a perfect colossal blow from Severog to prevent Gideon from escaping. But I got I get set upon by the Chimera. I wanted to try and grab the Gideon, but the Chimera leaped into me. I missed the point blank hook. I always miss the point blank hooks. Uh, but yeah, we ended up taking out that Chimera. Turned on him pretty dang quickly. Enemy team is aggressively responding. We don't have a tower, so we're going to have to back up. Belica misses the bomb, but I stuck around just a little too long. Got hit with the knock up, hit with a thunk. And yeah, I'm done for. I'm resurrected, and there's a big team fight going on. And I'm going to try and head down there as quickly as possible because right now they are 3v5 and Chimera looks like he just jumped on the Severog. Severog, extremely low, but he's doing a number on the Chimera. He does take out the Chimera, but Narbash finishes off Severog. Now our team is trying to back up. I'm going to try and come support him, but I ended up just getting in Morgesh's way. Like, she wouldn't have taken that much damage. Snatch up the uh, Gideon to try and get a kill on him, but, you know, our, our team needs to back up. There's more of a... Um, just a preventative measure, but uh, Morgesh is going in. She wants that Gideon, but our Murdoch ends up sniping him for the kill. Very nicely done by Murdoch. Nice follow-up. Tried to land a hook on the Narbash, and I don't know where the fuck that hook went. Bellica's got the uh, item that's the bane of Richter's existence, that stupid fucking bubble. Hit her with the silence, then hit her with the ultimate, trying taking her down too, but I got thunked by the Narbash again. Great Narbash. Sparrow stepped up. I completely missed that. Another hook. I don't know where the fuck my hooks are going at this point. But we do end up getting the kill on the Sparrow. I wanted, I wanted the Bellica. I didn't want the Sparrow. I wanted the Bellica. Trying to finally push this mid tower. Narbash is hanging around just a little too long. And yoink! We grabbed him. Morgash took him out. Very nicely done on her part. 
Now, I need to level up my abilities, but I get I get distracted, guys. I get distracted. And remember, I was very, very drunk before this game. But we're going to push this mid lane tower. And I wasn't looking behind us, and Chimera leaped in and just gets demolished by our team. And I was just, I was so focused on watching that Chimera get demolished that I didn't notice the Gideon comes in and slams me with the rocks. Now prepare yourselves for one messy fucking team fight here. Severog pounding away. He's gonna go after the Sparrow. Kinda kinda pick it on the poor Sparrow. And Narbash moves in for a thunk. I thought he was gonna keep moving. I went for the pull and uh, completely missed it. So when in doubt, just pop the chesticles out. <laughs> I was able to get a couple of them. But Chimera sneaks in behind us, takes out our Murdoch. And now he's just leaping around as Chimera does. Moragash is very powerful at this point in the game. Now Gideon, I want to keep him from coming after the rest of our people. I don't know what interrupt. I don't know if I interrupted Gideon right there or what. But now I've got Chimera on me. And I'm just trying to kind of lead them around. Kind of now, 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 now. <laughs> and hope that my team can come back and save my ass. Of course, I don't even know why I try those close range pulls. But Chimera does eat it. And uh, now Gideon is probably going to get it too. Sevrog engaging the Sparrow, we're going to try and back him up, we got Murdoch coming in from the side. I throw out the hook, it was way, way out of range, and again, I got a little too hook happy this game. But Sevrog is pushing forward, but he's fighting under a wave. Uh, he could probably do it because he's got the health for it, but we, uh, we ain't got the health for that. Bellica coming in from the side, knocks up Sevrog, so it leaves us in a sticky situation. Luckily, I'm able to silence that, um, that Gideon and then land a pretty good ultimate Caught two people. I don't know why I didn't catch all three, but now we are in trouble. Our, our, our Murdoch is dead. I'm hoping the Sevrog comes back to help us out, but it ain't going to happen in time. We are we're, we're a dead man here. Severog going deep for a Chimera kill. We've got Murdoch with us. I'm just kind of looking behind us. I don't really need to do anything here. These two guys can take out the Chimera without my help. So I'm just going to keep my abilities in reserve in case he does somehow miraculously escape, which he doesn't. He gets killed. Or I need to throw an interrupt for the Gideon. So yeah, I just I was there for that fight. Didn't do anything for it. So our Moragash, oh, she is so, so strong. So strong late game. Takes out the Gideon. Severog's going to move up. And he removes the bubble from Bellico, but yep, get back here, bitch. I love that he took that bubble off of her so that we can hit her with the chesticles, finish her off. And that take that's two of their most dangerous, um, well, that's three. I mean, Kai was a little bit dangerous, but it was mainly the Bellica and the Gideon that were fucking us up. So once we can get them out of the game, we, uh, we're set. Try and capitalize on that little team fight. Look, look at this Sparrow just zerping around all over the place. Her, her lag, her poor... I don't know how she was getting any last hits whatsoever. 
Uh, Narbash trying to channel his ult. I pulled him right on out of that. And um, Murdoch is just, he's doing what he should be doing, just focusing on the tower. Sparrow's coming after me. I just kind of ignored her. Like, I'm not going to hit her with anything, and she's not going to hurt me. So I just, I just let Sephiroth do the deal. We just took Old Prime, Murdoch posting up, looking for his snipe. <laughs> He's been landing good snipes all day. Morgash getting Gideon very low, and Murdoch finishes him off with another great snipe. Now as we're walking through the jungle here, Severog gets thunked by Narbash. Sparrow's right there. We're doing a lot of damage to Narbash. I should have let Severog get that kill, but it's a support thing. Sports like to kill out of the supports, okay? Okay, don't 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 sit me. Don't don't blame me. <laughs> And then Sparrow, of course, is going to get deleted by the Severog once again. We've got Prime buff. We're on the inhibitor. They, the only one they have to defend are Chimera and Bellica. And right now, I'm giving Bellica the business, the business in my chain. And uh, yeah, she goes down. We take out the inhibitor. And Chimera is not going to be able to do a whole hell of a lot. I don't even know where the hell he is right now. But yeah, that's the end of the end of the game, end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button for me. Let me know if you want to see some more Fault content. I'll try and play uh, some more different heroes rather than just relying on my my boy Big Dick Rick. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, um, after the main goose, I'll play that crazy intro that I did. Man goose. What's up guys, the man goose here. I've been drinking a little bit, but that's okay. I just wanted to say that before this game, I didn't capture it on the video, but while we were in the draft, our Morgash recognized me, and shout out to our Morgash, and then uh, once she recognized me, our, our Murdoch was like, hey, man goose, I recognize you, glad you're still playing the game. Well, I appreciate that too, I appreciate that comment, but I just want to say that the man goose Never fucking left, bro. The Mangoose stayed the course. When all these other goddamn streamers and all these other goddamn YouTubers just gave up and started playing Fortnite in Apex Legends, the Mangoose stayed with Paragon, stayed with the successor projects and kept following them, kept telling you guys what was going on with them. So did Brittick. So did Windu the Mace. So did several other YouTubers and streamers. So what I want you to do right now, I want you to go and find a Brittick video. I don't even care if you don't like watching Brittick's videos. You don't have to watch it. You don't have to watch it. Just go find one of his videos. Hit that like button. And then get get into his comment. Get into his dirty little comments. And tell Brittick, say, Brittick, the man goose appreciates you for staying the course. For having the fucking balls, the cojones, the intestinal fortitude to stick with Paragon and believe, to believe that it would come back, and it did. It may not be perfect. It may be, not be the Paragon rem we remember, but it'll never be the Paragon we remember. They can't recreate our fucking memories. They, even if they made a one for one Paragon, they couldn't, they couldn't make a one for one of our memories, but they're still making something. They're still making something that we can play and that we can enjoy. Tell all these guys. Tell Soul Eve. Tell Strange Matter. Tell Omeda. Fuck it, tell Meta Buff. Why not? Visionary, I think, is out of the game, but anyway, tell them all. Tell them all that we appreciate them.